The debate over the business relationship between UPMC and Highmark continues in Harrisburg. At issue, whether the consent decree between the two health care providers should be extended. John Delano is live in Harrisburg with what happened in court today. John. Well, you know, today, yesterday was really all about the Attorney General and Highmark. Today it was UPMC's turn before Commonwealth Court Judge Robert Simpson. And then the hearing came to an end with special instructions from the judge. Attorneys for the Attorney General, UPMC, and Highmark wrapped up a two day hearing in Harrisburg, arguing a very narrow legal question. Does the court have the power to modify by extending a five-year consent decree that expires June 30? If the judge says yes, it's likely another hearing will be held to determine whether an extension should be ordered in the public interest. UPMC clearly had no understanding or agreement with the Attorney General, with the Pennsylvania Insurance Department, with the Department of Health that the modification provision would allow for any extension of the June 30th, uh, 2019 uh, termination date. Um, we think the Attorney General obviously tried to poke some holes in our argument, but uh, uh, failed. The only witness to testify on Tuesday was Thomas McGough, chief counsel to UPMC, who told Judge Simpson that UPMC never, ever intended for the consent decree to be extended past June. Quote, we believed it critical to have clarity and to have a beginning and an end date, unquote. McGough said that if the Attorney General back in 2014 was trying to slip a provision in after UPMC had rejected it, that would be fraudulent. Quote, that would be fraud to consciously put back a provision into a negotiated agreement. Something that has been taken out is inconceivable, unquote. UPMC insists that the consent decree cannot be extended. Well, the consent decrees were established five years ago, and they were established as a transition plan. And so we we're proceeding through that, and we've communicated everything in the public interest as if the termination date is June 30th, 2019, and we go our separate ways. I understand you've communicated mm -hmm. in the public interest, but is the action, yes. the separation, in absolutely. the public interest? It is absolutely in the public interest. Now, of course, UPMC insists that it is in the public interest for them to be separate from a high mark. But again, that's going to be up to a judge. The first question, the judge said, look, I want paperwork from you, briefs from you, by noon tomorrow, Wednesday, and I will try to have a decision made by Friday. But mind you, this decision is really on a very narrow point. Can he, does a judge, have the power to modify or extend this consent decree? If he decides he can, he still is going to have to decide, is it in the public interest to do so? So there's a lot to be expected. And of course, one way or the other, the parties are expected to appeal this to the state Supreme Court. This is not over in the long run. Live in Harrisburg, I'm John Delano, KDKA News.